from your breaking news and weather authority. This is 13 Wham News This Morning on Rochester CW. We have more back-to-school topics coming up next. Nutrition. Family Circle Magazine has put together its first back-to-school issue, and we're going to talk nutrition with the magazine's food director coming up next. That time for a lunchbox packing primer. About a month left before the kids go back to school, and even if your kids prefer pizza over plums or some other fruits and vegetables, there's still a way to sneak some nutrition into their lunch boxes. Regina Ragone is a registered dietitian and the food director for Family Circle Magazine. She joins us now with okay. more. Good morning to you, Regina. Hi, Holly. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, but I do know that many moms fret over this when it's time to go back to school. They want to pack these healthy lunches only to find out that their kids really don't eat them when they get to school. They just trade them with somebody for something else. That's so heartbreaking when your kid comes home with a lunch box that hasn't been eaten. So I'm going to try to show you a way to get a lunch box that will be eaten and also give them a lot of nutrition that they won't know about. Go right ahead. So the first thing... The first thing we're going to start with is we really want to get kids to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables because most of them are only getting a serving a day when they should be having three to four servings. So you can use 100% fruit juice. A half cup is equal to a whole serving of fruit. And they come in these really cute little boxes and we also have little bottles. So we're going to freeze one of those, put that in so it acts as a cooler and also a great drink for kids. Then we're going to also try to get them in some vegetables because that's another tricky thing. You can try to get them some like dip and little vegetables. Vegetables. Dip is a great way to get kids to eat little baby carrots and red peppers, and you can put them in a cute little Tupperware. But also, Pepperidge Farm is coming out soon with these new garden cheddar goldfish, and they really taste great, and they'll, gi they'll give your child a, a third serving of vegetables. So it's another cute little sneaky way, and they're really fun to eat. Wow, so I usually um, associate you know, goldfish as being not that great for you, but in this case... They will be. They could help your child get the vegetables. They, they got some vegetables. And they also have whole grain of, uh, ones available, too. So they're really, and kids really do love them. Yeah. Um, then we're going to try to get some whole grain and protein in. And, you know, whole grain, bread, kids love those little wraps because they're easy to eat. And they do love peanut butter. A lot of schools now, you can't take peanut butter mm -hmm. in. So we have soy butter here. Soy butter is a great substitute for peanut butter. It's really easy to eat. It tastes like peanut butter. Put some jelly on it. We actually made some fun shapes. We had some dinosaurs our shapes, put them in a little bag. And then last but not least, a lot of kids aren't getting enough dairy. So try to get some dairy into them in different forms. Yogurt is a great way. And if you freeze a yogurt container or these little tubes of yogurt, they go in the lunchbox and keep it cool. Little cheeses. And, you know, everything being little helps, too, because kids don't have enough time to eat a lot of times in, in, during their lunch period. So having little bits of a lot of things help. And so I noticed so you we have a lot more. Oh, go ahead. We have a lot more of these tips actually in Family Circle magazine that's going to be hitting the newsstands today. Yeah, I noticed. Is that the one that you have next to you there? And I, I heard that it's full of back to school information, not just it's with totally uh, nutrition. Packed. Yes, it's our, our biggest issue ever. It's got tons of things about how to get your kids ready for school in all different ways. Clothes, gear, electronics. They need a lot more stuff than we were when we were kids. Yeah, yeah. And so I imagine then when you're packing uh, your child's lunch, you've got to make sure you've got the whole grains. And how many servings of fruits and vegetables should you be striving for? You know what? One to two servings, if you can, you're way ahead of the game. And like I say, by having 100% fruit juice, that's one fruit right there. If you can put some vegetables in, even with the goldfish crackers, it's a third of a serving, but that's better than nothing, and they'll mm -hmm. add it up during the day. And it gets them to start thinking about fruits and vegetables as a fun thing to eat. Do you recommend having the and kids help? And if you can throw with... some fruit in there. Yeah, having the kids help is really great, too, because they, they find that when kids help to prepare their own food, they'll eat it more. So that's a fantastic idea. And have them come up with things they'd like to eat for lunch. It's really a great idea. All right, Regina Ragone, thanks for your time this morning. We will look for that issue out on newsstands. Thank you. When we come back, we'll have your latest local headlines and a check of that forecast.